Hello everyone, my name is Father Law, and today I am going to be playing some duels with my Rep 66 uh, Lawbringer. And the first duel we have here, we're going to be fighting the new hero. We're going to see what we can do from here. I barely missed that light. I did not miss that one. I'm still kind of getting a feel for things, so bear with me here. Oh, he got me out of the heavy on that. Yeah. I think he was scared of the heavy. Because if it lands, um, I can shove. And if I faint a guard break and he tries to parry it, then he, uh, he gets guard broke. The thing about lobbing a shove after the heavy is that it uh, it lands pretty often, and especially uh, for example, I guess this character, they don't have anything to punish it. So like, there's like if I throw it out there, they're not like I'm not risking anything. Only a few characters can punish it. Oh man. Wow. He says, I can't just throw light attacks and kill you. He thinks to himself. And see, this is another thing. Uh, whenever you would normally pull Lawbringer before the rework, you wouldn't get all these light parries. People would not throw these attacks because people are, were more scared of the shove on block than they were these high parry punishes because the shove on block was constant. So there was no reason for them to attack you with anything other than their safest moves. And it was obnoxious as a lawbringer to do that. And now that I'm able to actually uh, have the opportunity to parry attacks because people aren't afraid or as afraid to throw them when they should be. The only thing I've had practice for for 66 reps is parry. Nice. Wow, okay. I don't know, I guess. Try not to get owned and you won't have to be uh, upset. Alright, so we're gonna go on to another one. Okay, so this is a rank duel. Um. Uh, I am playing ranked, I'm trying to find people who are playing their mains, so maybe they're more comfortable with them. This guy's like rep 42 with Gladiator, so uh, that means he is experienced in the very least. Ouch. Nice. Yeah, well, it's a good start. I might try to mix things up this next round. But yeah, I've been having a ton of fun playing the Lawbringer. I haven't had much opportunity to play him against anyone other than the new heroes. Cause I, I played uh, quite a bit in fours yesterday. That was an easy parry. And he gave up. Throw a heavy. Yep, looks like he may have given up. That's a shame. Oh, I'll have to see. I don't know, maybe his controller died or something. Yeah, I just murdered him in cold blood, but there's a pretty good chance that he just gave up there. I hope not. Like, just fight me. This is sad. Two light parries and he gives up. Wow. You'll never get better if you don't play against people that are better than you. Especially if you just give up. Try to find someone else now. Alright, so found a raider. 
<clears throat> I haven't gotten a chance to play Raider one-on-one -on -one too terribly much. Um, I've mainly been seeing him in 44s, and I know he's really strong in 44s, so his attacks are much faster. That's, that's interesting. I'll have to get used to that new stunning tap for sure. The most annoying part is this thing type is it has that really weird stamina drain for whatever reason. That's the worst part of it. I could deal with the stun, it's just constantly being out of stamina afterwards. Nice. That all kind of looks different for sure. Much, much quicker, it seems. Nice. I gotta be careful with the shoves because. Raider is one of the few characters that can actually punish it. So, with a guard break at that. So, I should be careful with them. I threw a few there. I uh, might not throw as many this round. I don't know. I have to get a feel for them. Hit him out of that. Nice dodge. That was good. You can't zone me here because I'm stuck here where he threw me. Yeah, see, I knew he wouldn't let that fly because he threw me in between those. Nice. He's trying to parry me, but he's getting smacked a lot. He thought I was going to throw a light there. And again, that's not something he could have done a week ago. With those 600 millisecond side lights, <coughs> way too reactable. At least here, I can at least mix them up a little bit and get that heavy in. Also, this is my gold bobbringer. Uh, I wouldn't expect to see him too terribly much. I don't really like the way he looks. Uh, the cape especially. It's, ooh, nice. I had a feeling he was going to throw it because he didn't throw it last round. He only threw it the first round, but uh, yeah, so this cape... Do not like very much. I might have to change him. See, use the shove sparingly, delay it. It's pretty hard to react to, especially after being stunned. Alright, it's not bad. It's not bad. Try to uh, get into another duel. I won't. Here's a shaman. And a little bit of variety here. It's kind of hard though. I've run into so many of the new hero. I'll probably put like uh, one more duel with the new hero in this video. I just, my last video, that's literally all I saw. Like I fought like probably 10 in a row. And I put some of them in the video. Um. Nice. And I don't want to do that again uh, if I can. So, going for a little bit of variety here. And this guy's all about the dodge attacks right now. What? <laughs> Stop throwing those. There's not a lot Shaman can throw that can't be parried. You can pretty you can parry her zone on a light timing, so her zone's not too terribly hard if you're just sitting there waiting for a parry. And he's throwing salt at me. What a savage! I don't know what I did there. See, that's why I always have my guard to the left a lot, and I walk to the left is because lobbing is so big, and like you can't like zoom out because if i could zoom out i totally would but sometimes they like you it blocks their bodies with his because he's so big i barely missed that light by the way i thought he was gonna throw it from the side but he threw it from the same side and it messed me up oh i had a feeling he's got that fly so i was gonna pair the top light after uh, but i i don't know i barely missed it i guess normally i'll parry if i know which direction he's gonna throw from but 
I don't know why I missed that. <laughs> Would have been cool. Tip Perry. One of those. But we still got the job done. I had way too much health anyway, so I didn't really care if he hit me with it. Yeah, you cannot throw those at me from like, while I'm sitting here looking you in the eye. I don't know why you'd think that was okay. I see that move used a... Wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was kind of laggy. You're done now. Although, that's not what I thought I was going to kill him. I thought I was going to have to faint until I could top light or something. Side light. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to play uh, one more duel here. Um, upload this. So, yeah. Okay, so I have found one of these Hitakiris again. I think this is only going to be the second one in the video, so that's not too bad compared to yesterday. Got a bit of variety in here, a gladiator, a shaman, and a, uh, what else did I fight? Yeah. Something. But, uh... Here we are with this. Nice. Oh, it's a raider. That's what it was. See, like, there goes half of his health right there. <coughs> oh, nice. That was good. That guard break has terrible range. Like, she, like, leans back whenever she goes to, like, do her heavy. So if you faint a guard break, you have to be right on top of them. And again, this character can't punish the uh, shelf for all you lawbringers out there that are uh, struggling. If you can uh, faint enough to where they're too scared to try to parry your heavies, the uh, shelf is pretty uh, unpunishable for this character. I love, uh, wow, that was ballsy. I love the little, uh, face slap I get off of a berry. I could <laughs> I could have killed him by now if I would have just impaled him to a wall. But I really don't care. Nice. Wow, good fight. <sighs> okay, I was able to faint and then dodge that on reaction. I don't know how I feel about that. Always throw an opponent to a wall, get that stun, fall up into the light. Bop. No, that's about it for him. So these are some good duels. And uh, Neil Albrecht is really fun, so expect more of him soon. Thank you guys for watching.